Hey everyone, welcome to another Pokemon Crystal Full Item, full item Randomizer Tournament Match. Got Jose L versus Gabriel Campos today. I'm Garfield Lightning, and with me is Rallan Tank here. Hey. So yeah, these two are, I believe, one and two uh, in this round, going into round four. Ideally, they would want to win all three of their remaining matches to, get, to be guaranteed to go through, but. Putting two might also be enough. So yeah, a lot to play for here. Let's see what today's bomb has in store for us. Money. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Sugar Widow and Nine Tails. All right. Well. Rokio and Ninetales are both pretty fast, but Rokio is very squishy, so not surprised by the Ninetales pick here. We have to start with a good new set though for the team, this long term. And let's find some good TMs. Just being a stony Evo doesn't learn anything. I love that. Well, that's pretty good, <laughs> actually. That is pretty good. Another bolt flame wheel, yeah. Crunch as well. We will take that for the time being. And Elf doesn't have the greatest stats in the world, but those moves are really good. It's going either way, they can get the nine twelve long term or they can pop over. I don't know if we've seen a nine twelve been run for uh, until the end in in the tournament yet. I wouldn't be surprised if we hadn't it. It's not it's not okay. It's not okay like my ball pack. Like, it's not over the top tier Pokemon in terms of stats, but these are some, yeah, these are some amazing moves for, for Ninetale. But it looks like Gabriel is gonna try and weaken this Typhlosion and what well, this man. Oh my god. Joto's not really here. Oh, okay, so live, is it worthy? No, just gonna like, take it out. Yeah, a few more levels than Ninetales. I mean, with that move, uh, the Nine Tails, definitely something to consider at, le consider at least early on. And, uh, yeah. Oh, this is I didn't realize, I didn't realize. An early ticket and the Earth Badge. Yep, one of the 16 badges we're going to need to take on Red at the end of the game. That's the goal of these races. Oh well, that's a nice find, an escape rope. Just if we if we find the Dig TM, that'll be the only one we need for the entire game. Typhlosion so far not looking too great. I believe Tri Attack is the only attacking move right now. Yeah, uh, that's uh, always scary to just run with mono attack, especially if you're, especially when you're, when there's an immunity involved. Yeah, 
above par. What do you think then, you would do if you had this nine tails? Would you go searching for stuff, or would you go blitzing with with it? Uh, I mean, I probably would have looked at least at the gator. Uh, cannot hurt to look for something, uh, or uh, can cannot hurt to look if there's uh, something even better than the nine tails uh, was around. Uh, like if the uh, uh, oh, nice damage. If the gator had earthquake drill peg, oh no, that fusion has drill peg too. Okay, so that works better, but still not great. But yeah, yeah. If that was a gator like that, uh, then you probably would prefer that it would over the nine tails. That nine tails just uh, it's just not the best Pokemon out there. So I forget what its special attack is. It's like. Not quite. I, I forget what. I, I'll have to look it up. I think I remember. It's not the greatest in the world, but I don't think it's too bad. It can do stuff, and especially with the move set early on, it's definitely uh, usable. So I wouldn't uh, spend ten minutes looking around to try and find a different main, but. Uh, if there's uh, something encountering you, uh, might as well take a look and see if there's something better. If not, just roll with it and uh, see from there. Yeah, you, it, it, it is always handy to just have at least one thing with you uh, in case uh, in case you need to switch out and heal for any reason. Yeah. Also, you need something to put agents on uh, anyway, so uh, it doesn't hurt to have at least something that you can look at. Yep. Yeah. 81 special attack for nine tails. Yeah, that's not great. It's not great. Like if, it, if it would get step surf or something like that, uh, it, it would be definitely more serviceable. But uh, it will do well enough for most of the times we we can use it like that. In the worst that probably could happen would be required early canto leaders that have uh, super effective moves on us. Where nine tails ah, might struggle to kill in reasonable time. Early hive badge. Nice, nice. things that we haven't been able to one shot but nothing's really scared this nine tails yet it's all the time solution for that matter just had that 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 the uh the first trainer with the magnemite and the hoe was uh took a few hits to go through but like nothing that was gonna nothing that was gonna take us out anyway the mill tank uh, from elderly could have been scary but of course they're getting a crit in there Definitely helped on that too. Yeah, I think we only saw Psychic from that, so that wasn't too bad. Krabby yeah, did have Stab Octazooka, but Krabby has very bad special attacks, so we're okay. And the bad thing is, though, Gabriel got an accuracy drop, and especially against the Mill Tank that's coming up, uh, this might actually be very bad. And uh, this Omanite, uh, just resisting everything that he. Uh, Peplosion has right now. Alright, time for Ninetales to pick up the pieces, though. 
We'll see if the smell tank had anything better than psychic. Oh, <laughs> that'll yeah. do it. Oh, there's, there's a hive badge that Gabriel has to leave behind for now. Hopefully, it does get back after the gym. So we don't have cut yet, and there's not much early on that would require to get it early, except for the if the one item on Route 32 has something important. So this. Might not be too terrible for Gabriel uh, Campos yet, but um, it's still slightly unfortunate that this will be a bit of time lost here. chamber, but uh, no key items. I don't know if we picked up any TMs yet, actually. Usually you see at least at least some uh, uh, by by now, but we've still got, still got chances for more before we have to do any more fighting. This Nine this uh, nine Tails isn't, you know, isn't really wanting too much on this moveset, but it'd be nice for the Typhlosion to get a bit more coverage. A Typhlosion definitely needs something, because it runs into a lot of rocks and has nothing for it. Yeah, yeah, Nonix is not what you want to see at all. He's just fishing for status from tri attack, but it's not happening. There's the rolling <laughs> kick. Would have been nice, would have been nice to get that before Faulkner, but uh. That'll help, that'll help Gabriel a bit. Alright, so we got early Squirt Bottle. Because he's just continuing on though with the nine the, the nine spells should definitely be able to handle Azalea. Gabriel might turn around though. Yeah, especially with the troubles that Gabriel already had, so that he kinda had to split experience on his two Pokemon. And uh yeah, the not great move set yet on Typhlosion. I could actually see Gabriel trying to want to look at some level 20s earlier than later. Union does have some interesting things though. Plane badge and now the expansion card. And Wow, fly. okay. That's 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 a big one, fly, especially if Gabriel turns around. Although he does turn around, I mean, he will find his way back here at some point. But if Gabriel continues on and goes into Union, uh, turning around this isn't even, even that uh, bad anymore. Since you already can fly, you can just uh, unlock the Azalea fly point and then just fly back to Violet, wake up the Sudowoodo. So, uh, no. does actually make it quite a bit nicer for Gabriel Campus, I'd say, here. Yeah, this is assuming he does check the items in you, which which you should, because like even if they, even if you do want to turn around afterwards, you can always escape rip out to the Route 32 entrance. But we'll see. We'll see what he does. for the nine tails, but very strong physical TM if you want to main switch later. Okay, we're going to Union, so we'll find fly here.
messing up the movement here. Fortunately hitting the optional. This guy is he's claimed quite a few racers this tournament, just uh you've gotta be right at the top to dodge him. Yeah, and leads another rock type, but uh Kibutops. Not the sturdiest Pokemon. So uh... <laughs> even learning fresh, uh, this type doesn't <laughs> really uh. Well, really, we really, really wants to be a normal type. And sure does. We did find Flash in Oncourt, so uh, that's something to keep in mind. We might have uh, access to dark places sooner than later. Also, uh, with the scrap bottle found, that would. Uh, Put us very close to the Rock Smash items, the Dark Cave being a logic. Which uh, runners might be interested in combining with uh, returning the Kenya. Although with Fly, uh, it's not too terrible to put that off until you want to buy Rock Smash. This whirlpool as well in the forest. Looks like Gabriel is continuing with Azalea. Oh, maybe not. He's at least, he's at least talking to Kurt. Well, we'll see if he. Continues on or not? Yeah, he is gonna find. He, he he is going in. I am slightly surprised. Uh, I think he needs to at least teach rolling kicks the time for yeah. if he's gonna do this. Uh, with, with all the struggles Gabriel already had, not teaching rolling kick here is just asking for trouble. But uh. I don't quite remember, but I don't think there was anything that should be horrible to fight here in the well. Freezing the Dratini with uh, tri attack. Very good crit here for Gabriel. The, the, the uh, ancient power Earth's rain could have been bad otherwise. Yeah, we've had a had a nice crit. Had some nice had some nice um, status ailments from Tri Attack as well. It looks like Gabriel is like <laughs> he's out of there after that. Like yeah, he probably feels like he's been been a bit lucky there. He's just gonna see what the sort of what it is. Yeah, oh. Uh, I would have liked to see this earlier, in, or this decision earlier, but uh, better late than never, I guess. Uh, well, I mean, Little King is not terrible, given moveset. Yeah, so kind of similar to Nine Tails in a way, because, well, Little King learns one move at level 23, but that's it. You got, 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 but it does have. Better stats than Nine Tails, so we'll see what it's got. We can go Pit's Claw Special. Oh, that's very special, but that's also a moveset that you can work with. Yep. But there's. If you really want to, to you can still uh, look at Bill's Pokemon to have another level 20 option available. I mean, again, this, this Nidoking is useful, but uh, I wouldn't be excited to run it right now, so I'm 
still might uh, consider at least checking what the yeah, we're going to go straight to straight to Kanto. It looks like. I mean, sure, that's another option you have. Could also, if you wanted, uh, try and uh, force your way through burn uh, burn tower and see if you can get access to the roamers. Uh, it's the rival can be a uh, bit bit hard to get through sometimes with only a level twenty. Um, but uh, the Nidoking King should have have a, or should have had a reasonable chance at least. And uh, yeah, sometimes getting that level forty early can be very very nice. On the other hand, uh, with Fly Found, we have the tickets, so we have access to Kanto, and we can uh, search on Cycling Road uh, without too much trouble. So there's a few options for Gabriel to go for right now. Ooh. Flying Nine over the rifle here. Nine Tails has really been saving his bacon uh, here. Like <laughs> first, first battle, Nido King fights and it just dies. So. Got old reliable nine tails back us up. Gabriel head in straight into Kanto. It was all. See, his, his Nido King dying was all set up for this for this for this fight on the boat. I see what he's doing. Anyway, we found a whole lot of nothing in Goldenrod so far. I mean, we don't really have to. Uh, we have found both parts of flight already, so everything restricting uh, taking the boat and stuff is already not a um, concern anymore. So yeah. whatever we do have access to in Kanto is pretty much available to us. And uh, even Rock Tunnel is not really that far off. Again, we still need, or we only need to have a find Zephyr Badge in a check somewhere, and then those five items would also be in logic. So, yeah, it's actually not too necessary to have stuff in Golden Rod. Although, considering uh, how many checks that are there, it's still not something to see. Always. I mean, I guess we do have the lighthouse open uh, too, and uh, the, a lot of stuff in that critique, so there are quite a few checks still. Yeah, there's always more to your, your new best friend, Rala. I mean, he's everyone's best friend in this tournament. <laughs> I don't see a pressing need to go for Morty right here now. We don't have anything that would uh, put us towards uh, the Tin Tower right now, so uh, might as well do all the quick checks first and then look from there if you maybe can uh, combine stuff. Uh, like the Burn Tower, for example, with finding strength and therefore checking both items in there at once before we head to Morty. Ooh, Fog Badge. Yeah. We'll be able to 
Max has a higher level of mates, which will be fine to surf to go along with that. So, Gabriel might actually uh, decide to hold off on cycling roads and go back for some quick checks and golden rods. No, although uh, it doesn't really look like that and uh, yeah, there, there's no guarantee that you can find surf uh, earlier, so might as well go look for a cycling road and uh, even if you do find surf, uh, the six slot that you have available in Vermilion and the harbor uh, still do not really ha need to have something good. So. Um, yeah, no? <laughs> it's alright, it's a higher level one, so that should be pretty rare. Hopefully we won't come across it again. There we oh, go, that's more like that's it. That's better. Don't really have the moves to support it yet, if it does not have anything, but... Uh, it's definitely a consider consideration, at least. It's got a cat army going on here. Based on the sprite, anyway. What we got? Confusion, extreme. That's yeah, not good. It's not good. We would really hope for Surf for uh, a special main like Raikou to round it out. Um, any special moves right now, really, that are. Yeah. Does it do give us more coverage? This, this Raikou can absolutely do work if it uh, gets off the ground, but. Uh, we don't really have anything to help us right now. Yeah, I think this is a bit bold going to going to Fuchsia with this move set. Well, uh, um, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> this will probably this 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 will probably be fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I don't really fancy this Riker's chances against Janine. Yeah, and uh, forgetting with five point Gabriel apparently comes to the same conclusion. You have that Thunder Badge for returning Kenya. We are inching closer to the seven badges we would need to enter Radio Tower and uh, make Morty not strictly necessary, potentially. And yeah, now with this Raikou, Gabriel can go back to Zelia. Does not have to worry much. Uh, not have to worry too much about anything here. Although it's nieces, so uh, good thing we do have some normal type moves to use. Yeah, we still don't hit Steel for all that much. We don't hit Tyranitar for all that much. So it was, we, we've got some holes in our move set for sure. Let's see what's well. Uh, he, I think I think he must have checked those TMs earlier because. Uh... Kind of went through quite fast. I think it was had a move that caused paralysis rather than an attack, so that wouldn't have been very helpful. I didn't see the others. Oh, now they're oh, right. from Kenya. <laughs> both, yeah, both stages giving, of the Kenya quest giving us something. I mean, <laughs> yeah, wrong Kanto access. I mean, in regards to the moves at uh, Raikou, uh, a few, a few of the steel types are not really that terrible. Uh, even with confusion, since they do not have much special defense, so can still work your way through that. Uh, but Tyranitar could be a problem right now, since we don't really have anything for it. Confusion is very weak, though. Is the thing. I'd still be a little worried. Yeah, I mean, for Azalea and Goldenrod at least, the level difference is still there to work for you, and if you are uh, very desperate, you have Whirlpool that you can think <laughs> about? Jeez. you would have to be extremely desperate for that. <sighs> yeah, I mean, hopefully we'll just find some better moves before we have to do any fights that are closer to our level. I mean, I've seen a lot in this tournament already. I wouldn't put it past anyone to 
go for Whirlpool if they really need something. Because, uh, yeah. Th this turn on has already given us a lot, I think. Uh, <laughs> most of the runners, so... Uh, take whatever they have to uh, get somewhere at this point. Oh, we have Stab Psychic from Rivals Mr. Mime here. Yeah, that's not too good. Yeah, I think we did just go in paralyzed though, so it did give him a few more chances to set up, but... Lantails of Special Defense is very good, so we're alright. Yeah, I mean, the, the Psychic uh, could also drop the Special Defense, so you wouldn't want to stay too long on that. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's also speaking to uh, the issue of Lantails not being really able to uh, kill stuff. Yeah, enough. I mean that 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 Pidgey survived the Thunderbolt, so that kind of uh, that that's that definitely illustrates Ninetales's subpar special. Well, not subpar, but but not like not great special attack. Anyway, let's see if any of these Roamers will be anything good. Snorlax was one of them. Yeah. I don't. I mean, it's it's uh, it doesn't die, I guess. But um, <laughs> the other well, the other room was Jump Bluff, so I don't really think we'll be going for that. I mean, the Snorlax is better than nothing. Getting Step Strength on there, or uh, or even step, having Step Headbutt available is definitely solid. Level forty will make up for a lot during the earlier stages and. Uh, Snorlax is not that easy to kill either, so you can reasonably set up on later fights. Um, uh, it is slow, so uh, like, uh, like all the slower Pokémon, it uh, has some drawbacks to use it. But uh, Snorlax would definitely be a decent option. Yeah, the worst part about being slow is you just get completely wrecked by status. Most, uh, all, all kinds of, you know, paralysis, burn, confusion. Like it's, it's, it, 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 it all, it all happens to you when you, when you can't outspeed a lot of stuff. I can hold this position. I, well, with this nine tails, I might have tried once for it, see if I get lucky. But uh, I definitely wouldn't be so desperate to uh, go for the Roma that I'd say, yeah, I need the Snorlax or, def uh, or immediately I uh, spend 10 minutes looking for it. So, yeah. Eh, it's not a Thunderbolt Zapdos, it's not an... <laughs> yeah, this doesn't seem to. I don't think this is the ROM for explosion strats. Uh, not a great move to use here today. I mean, uh, buy a bunch of repels, teach step uh, explosion to the Snorlax, and explode some <laughs> stuff. You know? Just buy like 20 revives or something. Like if the, if Red Sleep gives you trouble, uh, it would be a nice panic button at least. Yeah, yeah. it's just uh, an annoying that um, like like if you if your panic button's on a TM, it's much easier to use than if it's on that teacher and you gotta go all the way back there before Red. Yeah. Because we're going into the lighthouse. Five items in here that we have not seen yet, and if you are happy with the Nine Tails, and because it looks to be that, um, this will give you an opportunity to get some experience on it while not having too many hard fights. Get both of these TMs now. Yeah, they all look pretty bad. That's a move, so it's going to be like Thunder Wave or Glare. Yeah. It's Glare. 
Oh no, was it Stunspore? I think it, I think it was Glare, but I, I, I could be wrong. Uh, Glare was TM16, that shouldn't be sold in this oh, okay. drive. Well, it must be, it must be something else then. Uh, I think it was 48 and that was Glare. God, he's teaching Asian power, yeah, he's, um... He's, he's struggling ah. for good moves for this Raikou. Yeah. Where's Surf yeah. when you need it, eh? Um... Jinny? Maybe. Route 25? Wouldn't be the first time I see that. Uh... Do I have a like laser badge though? So how about false director? You know, all the fun places for sure. These are all fantastic options, yeah. I mean, we do have the secret potion though, uh, which is something we have to consider. Uh, nice to be able to clear the lighthouse in one go. But uh, yeah, Janine might, uh, Jasmine might still be slightly problematic for us here. And this nine tails uh, got to level twenty five right now. So uh. Yeah, the, the, the 35 ace from Jasmine could be uh, problematic. Uh, 26 at least. But it is two, uh, two items on there, so uh, Surf might be there. We'll see if Jose uh, decides to go for it right now, or, or we'll take the gold first and go for some easier. Checks and canter right now. Is it worth going to sell it on store for TMs? Uh, I would say so if you're Gabriel. Uh, he he's he he is mightily struggling for moves. I, I'm I'm I he didn't go there the first time. I, he might have just been low on money at the time. I'm not sure, but uh, I think you should definitely check it out for this Riker at least. Absolutely. Uh, no surf, only one special attack for uh, Gabriel. Still not really have something great to uh, hit rock types with or steel types. So, really, any special type move that's at least neutral to, uh, neutral to those uh, would be an immense help right now for Gabriel. So going there, going there and see if there's something would definitely be. Uh, reasonable, uh, or just teach whirlpool, I guess. Uh, that that option's also there. Worth well, noting that Gabriel still hasn't gone back to the elder to get his hive badge, but. I think it's a little too early to say that he's forgotten about it because he might just be waiting to go back to Violet with Surf and then just do lots of stuff when he goes back there, but something to keep an eye on. I mean, that's not too terrible to get, uh, go back there, and uh, now with this Raikou the fight is also not really that, uh, or the fights are not really that scary anymore. Um, but uh, it is a single check. Uh, okay, we might. Oh, well, this might be just. Uh, uh, turn in Kenya. But, uh, yeah. Gabriel might might just put it off for now since it's just a single check. How likely is it that it is your required progression? Um, we'll have to see. I mean, I definitely can get behind the uh, thought process of uh, well, I lost some time here. Uh, don't really want to go back right now. Maybe just hope there's nothing on there. Yeah, I mean, I like it too. It's just a shame that it's <laughs> that it's not going to work out for him if he puts it off for a long time. Uh, that will still depend a bit on where cuts 
will eventually show up and uh, if it would be helpful to have that available earlier than later. So uh, for now it still might not be any troubles, but we will have to see. Do you need to find something somewhere though? Uh, we did see the lighthouse not have anything immediately helpful either, so... Uh, yeah, uh, our options are getting a bit worse. Fire Blast will help at least. That's not great. Not not the most accurate move, only 5 PP, but it's it's another move. And it does hit, hit steel types very good, very well. Yeah, that's the big one. As long as we don't, don't just like burn uh burn the PP too frivolously, we'll that's gonna that's gonna help us a fair bit. I mean not against things like this Graveler, though. <laughs> we'll just... yeah. Still got Confusion as our best move for that, and yeah, it doesn't quite do enough to knock it out, even though we're 13 levels higher. Okay, now Jose are going to look on Cycling Rope, and the Night Test is already at 26, something I'm... Uh... Yeah, he might just be <sighs> seeing if there's anything here just on the way to Je Janine. Uh -huh. So, I... We did not expect him to spend too long here, but like after two encounters, I would probably move on myself. Yeah, has, look, has tried for a third spot, didn't get it, and says, "Well, that just go and see if I can get into future, which should probably not prove too much trouble." Is this Caterpie as yes, a uh, Trying its best, probably, but we'll see. Gabriel doing Lighthouse. I'd expect Gabriel to actually attempt Jasmine at this point. Uh, especially given the Fire Blast Raikou now has. We do have a chance if the Ace is nothing too terrible. Meanwhile, Jose will give Janine an attempt. Maybe two. Does have some X items to set up with. Kangaskhan might be annoying though, depending on the moveset. Mag Punch isn't that scary. Barrage actually might be, since it gets uh, a lot of chances to crit. <laughs> wow, you really, you really spoke that one into existence, huh? Good thing we healed when we did. And still with, what are the two specials already set up? Doing not even a third or maybe about a third of playing wheel, so uh, Yeah, but at least it looks, uh, like, looks like we will be able to set up on this, so as long as we get the get the X items in, we'll be alright. That crit was was nice though. Yeah. I uh, the glare is annoying. Yeah, and immediately two full powers. I did, uh, Jose, I did even go and try for the Dragon Breath Parallel himself. Mag stat magnitude, and then even mm. rolling an 8. Oh, the Golbat had stab sludge bomb and it crit Gabriel's Oops. Raikou. We were looking okay until that Golbat showed up. I mean... Still should be okay with two max revive, I guess. Um, okay, just going for a frustration. Not getting crit a second time, so Gabriel gets through. What a rainbow badge! Okay. Well, 
Fire Blast Sebastian. Moltres. Yeah, we yeah. can at least stall that out. But, uh, I mean, we're one of the best Pokemon to take Fire Blast from Moltres, so that's that's yeah. something. Oh, oh. E-Speed from the uh, Sea King. Uh, no, that was cool. Of course it's like, of course it's near the end of the battle as well. Yeah, just... Why not? Of course, it did not put on the leftovers, though, so it might actually uh, made his life harder than it had to be, especially setting up against the Kangaskhan. That will help. Put an X Defend on. Then now try fully set up and not get crit 10 million times by Barrage. Uh, yeah, uh, they did these uh, multiple hit moves. They can be absolutely annoying because uh, they can they can just immediately ruin your life if they hit a five, or can just be not even worth noting if they only roll two. But uh, yeah, the the multiple amounts of crits that can be rolled are also just making it so scary to go for a setup on it. Since uh, they will ignore an X defend or your X defense too. I think Barrage is only like eighty-five percent accurate as well. I don't think I've seen it miss yet. Uh, there was one miss in the first fight on it. Okay. Thunderbolting a Marowak is not the best idea. Fortunate miss and put there. And getting immediately punished with the uh, Paradise. Does look better now, though. All right, we did it. There's cut. So okay. now the missing. Hive badge for Gabriel Campus might actually be a slight problem since uh, it does kind of look like our progress is somewhere in Cutlock. I mean, there are still some places we can check. We haven't fought Morsky yet, for example. You know, Morsky loves to have required items. Getting a look at the level 23 Zapdos, it is kind of low level at this point, so... He would have to have a killer move set, I think, for you to yeah. consider switching to this. We do have Drill uh, Pick, at least. It has, it, has, it has Stab Thunderbolt! Oh my goodness. Uh, of course it just slapped Cut on it, so... Uh, maybe we just wanted... Uh, Another Pokemon to use HMs on with, and this uh, Zapdos looked like it most likely would survive a hit, so it makes it easier to catch, I guess. This makes me sad having seen Thunderbolt though. Yeah. I would have been actually tempted by that, not gonna lie. Yeah, Thunderbolt drill back Zapdos, even at that level. I mean, I suppose. Well, there's just. There's not that many things that we can easily level up with. We probably hope to get Surf so that we can do the hideout if we really wanted to switch to Zapdos. I mean, at this point I would absolutely do a complete air critique with her to get it started and uh, with yeah, Cat now I might uh, 
just uh, consider try enforcing Route 25 if possible. Get it up to uh, the levels needed. Uh, on the other hand, uh, might actually be easier to go for an false director here. The Levercraft there is a bit nicer. That's true, I had forgotten we could go up Radio Tower, so that well, that would that could have been an option for the Zap days. And, I mean, it's just for a single check, but uh, if you do have to radio, do Radio Tower later anyway, it's actually not too terrible a time loss, since it's uh, only two or three additional fights for the Force Director. Yeah, I think it's three, right? So, it would have been doable, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Nothing on Kunimono Girls, at least here. I like how they're both doing Kimono Girls before Morty, bunch of Morty deniers racing today. I mean, depends a bit. If you uh, fly back to Ecrotique, you are actually closer to the Kimono Girls, so if you want to move efficiently on the second attempt, doing Kimono Girls is actually uh, saving you a few steps. So, would only help you if you do Morty first, if you would decide to put up Kimono Girls again, yes. Switch all use to Gabriel because I respect Morty that much. I'm trying to fire past the bubble sword and immediately missing. And it, yep, then it gets bigger. <laughs> Come on, shows the ah, oh, unfortunate. Ancient power actually coming in handy here. And oh, this was absolutely okay. not required. So, unless the card key does not show up anywhere, and uh, we do need to go into tin, and this Morty was just not worth the time. I mean, the experience we got probably is uh, actually reasonably helpful right now. doesn't have the hive badge so he can't cut down the trees on this route but he does have seven badges so he can dip into route 44 if he wants to although we can't get past knife pass without strength I mean did we see 44 from Okosu? not yet might actually still be where our progression lies it's four items we have access to oh, Gabriel is 
giving Janine an attempt, and yeah, cut. Unless it's on Erica or on row 25. Well, we still do have row 12 too, so well. Uh, again, uh, nothing immediate here behind cut yet in the early checks, so. Still not too, bur uh, too bad for Gabriel to not have it right now. Yeah, just a reminder for people who may have missed it, uh, High Pat was on the Elder, which Gabriel died too early on and didn't go back there. And there's the magnitude in Marowak, causing us a few, a few problems. Gabriel's oh. going in with Raikou, not even doing any setup. I mean, this is gonna it's, work. The, it's the first attempt, and apparently the man, the Mirac seems very fond of uh, going for a battle throw, which even yeah. when pilized, uh, gave Gabriel good opportunity to get uh, go through here. We do have uh, we have the Moltres as well, so we have an ancient power be good for that. So if we, we don't do. use all of them all, yeah. Right now. <laughs> Duel of the E speeds. Okay, well, didn't even go for the ancient power. Definitely would have been the strongest move against that Moltres. I maybe wanted to actually take the wipe right now to uh, get that poison off. But since it was the last Pokemon, that's uh, slightly. Weird. Well, there's cut for Gabriel Campos, but uh, no ability to use it yet. It did go a lot better for Gabriel than it did for Jose, so a bit of time made up there. Hmm. Ah, are we seeing an attempt at Erika, maybe? Well, we can't because we don't have the high badge right. of Gabriel yet. Right. Right, we're gonna check the the Marta looks like, see if there's any good TMs for Raikou. Try Let's try attack. Toxic. Uh, nothing good by the looks of it for Raikou. Well, we do find a Bulmerang TM on the other side. So if we wanted to go special, we are, uh, we, if we wanted to go physical, I mean, we do have Drill Pack Bulmerang to teach. Uh... Yeah, this drum has been pretty physical based in terms of the moves it's tried to teach us so far. Yeah, even a try attack here, and so there, there's a good ball. Well, we, we don't have strength yet. We have the ability to use it once we find it, but we don't have strength that's up yet. Okay. Oh? No. Oh. Yeah, Sabrina is open to us, so uh, she is in logic now that we have seven badges, so could see the Sabrina play at some point. But we do want some better moves on Raikou. We have done for a yeah, while. We get surf. <laughs> we get surf in Ice Path, okay. Looks like that's where we needed to go. The last item before before we would have needed strength to go any further. I mean, I would be shocked, but I feel like the game has just has just placed a few things there in recent in recent seeds. So you know, you gotta you gotta these snow bear arms are getting a little predictable. They gotta come up with a few new tricks, I think. And anyway, yeah. Gabriel's going over there too, which is good for him. Although it I might mean, steer him away from that uh, that elder. I mean, in terms of ROMs, I mean, I, I've seen recently, or, or in, in not too recent past, uh, something a bit more out there of the placements that it could do, so they are still there. So. Yeah, there was a wild one yesterday that was unfortunately uh, had to be cancelled because. Um because one of the racers had some power issues. So that, that one was like North Joe to access on Elite Four. A shame we couldn't have gone further with that one. No. I 
But yeah, I mean, there's still some things this seed might have in store for us. So, I mean, the 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 if we are going with the narrative uh, of how a lot of this uh, this tournament seeds went so far, we are probably at some time uh, at some point find a very very late card key, and then have to go to Dragonstone for one of our last badges. So. Uh, this would be the expected path that the seed will take for the tournament, I guess. But uh, it doesn't have to be. Teaching over Fire Blast is... I don't think I agree with that right now. Yeah, I think we probably could have tossed either, over either Extreme Speed or Ancient Power there. Just each of them is that useful when we have surf, when we have surf in general. We're mainly using ancient power to hit fire types and surf does that even better. Although ancient power is probably is good for the oh no never mind. Yeah it's not that good. There's a radio card, so we're missing only the poker gear to be able to access the Snorlax. Which, for Gabriel Campus, might actually be not that uh, interesting anymore, but Jose L might still want to look. Ah! Unfortunate movement mistake there. Um, Jose L might just want to look at it still, especially if it's something physical. So we can use the TMs we have for it. Or, oh. oh, this Nine Tails, it did well until now, and it will do well for a bit more. But uh, it's still not great. So, I mean, if the Raikou could be could be better too. Like, there's 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 Pokemon we can't hit all that hard with the moves we have. Uh, I. Uh, I, th I think if I was, in, I was in either of these race position, I would, I'd be interested in in, in the Snorlax for sure. Really doing much for us anymore. Yeah, we do get the boulder badge though. We'll need that to finish the game. We actually don't need too many badges anymore. Uh, six more. Gabriel still has to pick up the hive badge. Yeah, um, we're an hour in, and we are making some progress. Took a bit to get to surf, but now there's quite a few things open. Yeah, still a few items that gate some pretty sizable areas. We don't have either either part of Tin Tower access yet. We don't have the card key to get into. Radio Tower, so still a lot of a lot of places that aren't quite open to us just yet. But yeah, I mean, if we get those items, then well, I mean, they could lead us somewhere. But like you say, we don't have we there aren't like loads and loads of items left, so it could equally just lead us absolutely nowhere. Find the machine part two. Yep, that's uh. 
That's another one, and that is, that is logically open to us because we do have cut, so we yep. can... Yeah, the, the usual way to do to get there is to go through Fox Tunnel because there are some items there, but logically that's not open to us yet because we don't have the Zephyr badge to enable us to use Flash outside of battle. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, since we do have logical access to the power plant, the Zephyr badge can actually be behind those checks and can just not be in Rock Tunnel. But uh, yeah, given that we are still looking for a lot of things and Zephyr Badge might turn up sooner than later, also we do have uh, Whirlpool and uh, Laser Badge, so uh, with uh, World, I World Island access behind that, it's definitely not unreasonable to expect Zephyr Badge to show up a bit earlier so we can find another uh, badge or maybe the Poke Gear and well. Yeah. We do have the Silver Wing too, so we could see a potential level 60 check. Which, after the, the hideout, I, I actually would be tempted, uh, even without Flash in both runners position. Just, just seeing if the level 60 is usable with what I have right now, especially if it's something on the more physical side leaning, would be just uh, make a lot of things quite a bit easier. And again, it's not unreasonable to expect there to be something in world, so if you are comfortable with going dark, well, islands so or a decent option to take right now, even if it's not fully in logic yet. If the Poke Gear shows up soon, uh, yeah, if you're missing the half badge, it might actually turn out to be uh, turn into a problem quickly. If West Canto is where our next progression leads, uh, Gabriel will have to uh, do some backtracking and double dipping, so that would lose a bit of time here for a that's otherwise relatively close right now. There's a soul badge too. Yeah, hideout being pretty good to us today. Didn't really open more of the map though right now. Well, much more. Yeah, just a machine part for more checks. Mostly going for mortar surfing. There's the clear bell, so that's half of 10 tower axes. Apparently on the way over to Lavender, 
So this uh, might be going power plant into completing Route 12 together with the expansion card check. Yep, certainly looks that way. Very nice to be able to clear this out in pretty much one go. Is following what uh, Jose did, and yeah, we'll be finding the clear boat soon. Yeah, I mean, after the hideout, we do have uh, some things open with surf, and especially with the machine parts, what Jose is doing right now, but it is not too terribly much in logic, so uh, you know, not too surprising that both runners are more or less doing the same things here. Yeah, there's a few scattered checks around. There's also some nasty ones that we haven't needed to do yet, but we're not that we're not really needing to prioritize right now. And yeah, after this route 12, it definitely will be uh, a decision point for Jose to make well, or to make a decision on what to do next. We don't really have too many great options left. I could go out of Logic Wall for a more denser place right now. Could start with stuff like Route 25 or Canto Leaders that are in Logic. But there's not too terribly much. Gabriel deciding to check Cherry Grove and then probably also Violet first. Their strength on the expansion card check. Yep, well that certainly opens up a lot a lot more to us. Now we can go towards Blackthorn or we can check some go go down into Slowpoke Well and Union Cave. Do a few more checks over there. There's also a super rod, so if I wanted to, could go and check a few level 40s on fishing to see if there's something better than the night hairs around. I'm not picking up the toy restore. While Gabriel Campos did decide to go back to Elder Lead right now, so yep, we'll be so. finding that uh, Hive Badge. And yeah, he... it will be still in a reasonable time where it didn't really lose Gabriel too much. I'd say. No, he has not gone yet to row 12, I believe. So there's really only Lake of Rage in Route 32, which he could reasonably do just do right now. You know, Jose is going towards Will Island, it looks like. Oh. Or perhaps just to Sidewood and do, do Chuck and all that first, see if we find the Zephyr Badge there. I mean, movement uh, looks more like Sanwood right now. I'm actually slightly surprised here, given that Blackthorn just opened up. Uh, uh, that's a few more items than, that are over here that are in Logic. So maybe just uh, do the pharmacy check and maybe doing Chuck here, uh, I guess, something you can do. I'm not just even going Chuck straight farm. away. 
me. No, um, it's still three items here, so yeah, I guess. I can do that. Well, we do have Gabriel on the way to Softs and Girls. See if he actually commits or not. Just a quick 24 check, uh, 34 check. Oh no, that's actually <laughs> does commit. Multiple baits there. I mean, definitely a bit more reasonable from Gabriel's perspective without having the access to the strength just yet. I mean, uh. Machine part in itself is only three, uh, four more items, so it's not that likely to have, but at this point also uh, it's one of your better options and you have an additional rock tunnel to go with it, so... Yeah, putting that off for too long is probably not a good idea, but uh, uh, we will see. Still much is be required. I mean... Got to just gotta do the right checks. It's that easy. It is. might not be required. It's not likely that it's not required, but we haven't seen anything being behind strength yet. Well, well never mind. <laughs> there you go. As soon as you say it, we get the mineral badge from Chuck. Okay, we're going for the cut tracks on deck fridge. Which is reasonable. Mineral badge on Chuck, but nothing else in sign with here. But this Mineral badge again can be an advantage to Jose L. Chuck is definitely not something everyone is doing earlier than later. It's not the worst hidden badge ever, but uh, you know, some people don't really like to do Chuck early if they don't have to. Yeah, I mean, we still have some... We still have those 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 items that gate a lot of the world. We still have, like, Poker Gear, Rainbow Wing, Card Key, any of those, if any of those are Easter Mahogany. Could definitely lead us away from the checks like the uh, Chuck on Cyanwood. We'll see, you know, a nice path will be going to Blackthorn. Where I guess it would be reasonable to expect either uh, Zephyr Badge or Poke Gear to show up. Although uh, Rainbow Wing also is equally likely. They all open up a reasonable amount of checks that are comparable. Oh, or Waterfall to where we will find need to find a rising badge. Now Gabriel is going for Surge here, which is pretty early to do Surge when you, you've got these other areas open to you, but you know, maybe he feels like this is the kind of play he has to do if he does feel behind. Yeah, I mean, with that Hive badge, uh, there's certainly a uh, reason to think so. Well, we did find Poke Gear a nice path here towards the end. Uh, the Spark TM that would be probably very nice for Gabriel to have. 
spark, not the strongest move, but step spark for Raikou is still a force to be reckoned with. And I mean, Thundershock is better than nothing, I guess? Yeah, okay. It's a yeah, start. Man. Slightly stronger than Confusion. You factor stab in, but yeah, that's very little to this Dragonite. I suppose the other reason Gabriel might be doing this is that he might be thinking that machine part checks are not in logic yet because he doesn't have Zephyr Badge. You can you can access it via Cerulean, but like like, like I said before, it's not the it's not the usual way to get there in these races, so that's another possibility of why he might not be doing that yet. Would be unfortunate if that were to be the case. Because, as you said, it is absolutely in logic to go from Cerulean. And this Typhlosion... ah. Oh. I, I was just about to say, the Typhlosion might actually still get through the Dragonite here because uh, a lot of Flash uses and then maybe try to X status could have actually do it in combination with Confusion, but uh, no. I, was that still Surge? So Gabriel, did they not even get there? Yeah, that was... that 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 that, that, was, that was Surge, so we... Still don't see what's on there, he's just gonna move on for now, looks like. Uh, so he gets the Cascade badge from 45, so... And, uh, it, and he is gonna go to, and he's gonna go to Surge now. Uh, gonna do I this, mean, I suppose, right before going into West Canto. Yeah. And you, you already had the... the uh, uh, that, uh, lost item. Uh, the, the door check in the defense club to go here already and before doing waking up the small legs we still need three more batches to find so uh, yeah if you are confident you get can get through the search reasonably easy uh, why not so it's definitely one of those checks that are a lot of people or Quite a few people like to put off, so if there's something on here, you might actually get an advantage. On the other hand, if you don't do it now, you can always find a lot of reasons to put off search, so uh, yeah, it could actually be your detriment if you don't do it early. Yeah, it looks like it has Sword Stance Hyper yeah. Beam though, so uh, pretty scary. I wanted to, wanted to ask about your stat, but that's... Uh, even throwing in a Rock Smash to the Hound Home. Oh boy. Yeah, Gapital decides that's just a bit, too, a bit too tough for now, so we'll just... We'll just move on and he will get his strength going through all this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about the revive count on Horse's side. You uh, setting up to defense does the yeah, trick I mean, for now. It's not oh, going to really help if Dragonite sets up more sword dances though. Well, if it's only no rock smash. Then that might not be too much terrible. It does also have moonlight though, so we are not doing very much, and it is doing a lot to us with. Well, it was doing a lot to us with, with hyper beam. It looks like it. It, it might. Looks like it is out. Oh, then never mind. Oh, never mind. As soon as that, I say it, it's another one. Absolutely. I think based that's on my the last hyper beam though. And gets the pair of the thunderbolt. Didn't have thunderbolt uh, PP. Left so needed to elixir. There, Jose is through and gets the dig for the trouble. So, uh, yeah, not required. Can save you a bit of money on escape ropes if you uh, still have money troubles this at this stage, Rom. But uh, 
They are not really too helpful. Sounds like Porygon what? to you on the Snorlax. I mean, sure. Very solid mod. Yeah. I mean, even though we mainly have physical moves, like Porygon 2 can go physical and it has thunder, so. It has you know, thunder, have, so. has thunder, we have strength, we have yeah. bone sure. rank for some coverage, we have surf as well. I mean, strength surf, strength surf thunder is, is fine. That will yeah. do. That will do just fine, I think. We're immediately teaching strength to it, at least. Yep. And surf, so this looks like a switch here. Yep, I mean, I think this will work out nicely. Yeah. Just got better all-around stats than Nine Tails, really. Can go physical in a pinch, too. Not as vulnerable either. Just, just a better Pokemon in general for these races. Yep. Can set up X defense against its only weakness. So. Uh... Definitely a reasonable choice here. Also getting that nine level advantage. Ooh, and a sacred tire fire TM to use on it too if we really want to. We want to go full special leaning. Yeah, Porygon 2 special attack is a little bit better than its physical attack, so definitely a worthwhile teach. And going for Brock immediately. So probably the only kind of downside right now is that Thunder is not the most accurate move. Uh, I definitely can uh, remember a recent training ROM I, uh, or training race I did where I caught a Pokemon with Thunder on Route 32. I used all 10 Thunder PPs uh, in the next five minutes, and only two of the Thunders hit. <laughs> no. Uh, so, uh, Thunder is always a move that you uh, have to be a bit careful with. It can just betray you, but uh, yeah, I mean, if we're, we're going to be ideally just spamming Surf and Strength most of the time <laughs> anyway. So, there's, I mean, things like this artillery, that, that's that's the kind of thing we want to use Thunder on. But uh, as long as most of the things we face just I mean, we could probably, yeah, we could even strength this, to be honest, like... I think that's probably more sensible than using Thunder anyway, so... Most of the time, we shouldn't have to worry about Thunder as bad accuracy, because we'll just be using our, our other moves. Yep. And then for the Red Fight, we will most likely set up an X accuracy, so... Then the... Low accuracy won't actually matter anymore. The accuracy check will be just skipped. So we pick up on the horse's mystery egg pick up on the horse's side. Also a curious decision to go down the Cut checks to just then go back up in the hedge maze. Then go back yeah, down. Yeah, you also go back to 
Go into the Viridian, there is another check in there. Not very efficient movement there. Uh, oh. Yeah, you can get that cut check after you go through the Viridian Far. Well, I don't even want to call it Viridian Forest because it's just a bit of a mockery of what it used to be. But you know, going through going through Viridian Hedge Maze or whatever the heck, and then uh, then you can like cut the tree down on your way to Viridian proper. You can grab that item that way. I'm gonna check Victory Road while we're here as well. We have this open to us now. Usually, often you come here with Waterfall, but we don't have the Rising Badge yet, so gonna access it from West Canto instead. Get these items. We can check the two items south of here as well. I mean, it would be the one one other vanilla way to go up the waterfall here, but uh, at least from in my experience, uh, I'm more often checking this this way than the waterfall way. Not item random. I guess I've just seen different matches, I suppose. Well, <laughs> we could absolutely, absolutely couldn't come here the waterfall way this time. We'll open up uh, the rest of Mount Mortar for Jose. And we are only two more batches away, and uh, yeah, about that Royal Islands play I uh, alluded to, uh, to on earlier, um, we have only one more batch that actually can be in there, with the Zephyr batch still, still uh, being out there in the wild, so yeah. putting that off uh, for this run seems to be the right choice, actually. Yeah, Flash has not been required pre-read yet, so... Could just be, could just be somewhere out of the way there. Where, well, I mean, we we do, we do need the Zephyr badge at some point, but yeah, it, it, we might not. But yeah, that, nothing nothing behind Flash yet. So, yep. could well just be nothing behind those dark areas at all. That's also not a very rare case where uh, our Flash access could be on Route Twenty Eight, since we are missing the badge and not the yeah. HM. So. It has to be somewhere. Oh. Again, uh, given how the tournament uh, seeds usually go, I still expect there will be one badge to be in Dragon's Den. Oh, it, it feels just so often there's at least one in there. But we're still missing the card key, so there's hope that our runners don't have to do clear. Like Gabriel is at least considering sticking with the Raikou for now. Did catch the Paragon as a backup, but uh, did not make an attempt to teach it anything. Switch it, which I can understand a bit more uh, on the Raikou side, definitely. Especially now that we finally did find enough stuff to use it. Yeah, I think I would still prefer the Porygon without without a... Well, I was going to say without a stab move. I guess technically we have a stab move on Raikou, but a, a, I was thinking like more of a 
at least a spark level stab move on Raikou. I think I'd probably still prefer the Borygon too, but I could, I could see, I, 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 I could see both working. April okay, picking up the E4 fly point. Yep. Might do some shopping here. I don't expect April to actually uh, having E4 in mind at this current stage. Uh, might be yeah. played towards later, but uh, I mean, if Gabriel is feeling like he needs to do a play towards uh, something because feeling behind, or uh, you could go for it. I wouldn't feel too confident with the striker currently. Yeah. It's always a weird one. The Serenity Fight is not necessary if you don't actually have to do E4. And, I mean, the, the E4 shop access is nice for the full restores, but uh, usually you don't really need too many of those. And the Fly Point itself on the way to Mount Silver uh, does not save enough to uh, make the rival fight worth it. There. Flying to uh, Indigo Plateau and flying to Viridian uh, are almost exactly the same time. So, yeah, going through an entire going through an entire additional rival fight, even for the one or two additional levels, is usually not really worth the time. But yeah, we will see. If E4 is required, this will actually save Gabriel another tri a trip through Victory Road. Which, I mean, we still have both badges that could be on there. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of just the part of the race where you could be like, you, we could be done in... We could be done in, like, five minutes, or we could be done in 45 minutes, you know? It's, uh... We could be done even in uh, 65 minutes. So I, it, it could be, yeah. There's... There's so much that still can happen in this one. Uh, we don't have card key yet. Uh, there's entirely radio tower basement. that's not uh, checked yet. Claire could be done. E4 takes its time. Uh, I mean, the, the, the Rainbow Wing can still show up, so we do have 10. There is a bit that we still can do, but uh, we also have done a few things already. We also have not seen any uh, chambers yet, which we only have the Waterstone Chamber currently. We, we can currently access right now, but... Uh, uh, we still have quite a bit of the map open. Eric was the rainbow wing this time. Yep, speaking of speaking of the rainbow wing, there we go. Now we have now we have a whole lot more checks open to us. Fifteen in total, including the hoe chamber. Yep, and Jose immediately going for it. Cannot blame him. This will also work just chain very nicely with being able to do the hoe ho -ho chamber into the waterstone chamber. And if you find Zephyr Badge, you can even put the uh, flash chamber after it. So yeah, not that unlikely that we that Jose will actually be on the way to finishing this race very soon. Okay, we're going for the uh, whirlpool check here on Route Twenty Seven. It's not nothing, but it's not anything we absolutely need to finish the game. And this might be mortar for Gabriel. Oh, strength check and burn tower. Okay, yeah, we do have that open too. And 
April also still has to do Chuck at some point for the mineral badge. See the legendary dunce boss battle. Well, <laughs> that was it. Yeah. I was hoping we get fooled into thinking it was a flying type and just trying to hit it with thunder, but uh. Just did the sensible thing and to hit it with strength instead. There's a basement key. Right, okay. Well... I suppose, I suppose it's not too bad to do vanilla basement with, uh, well I can't do vanilla basement, never mind, I don't want to do that. It is pretty bad with, uh, with all the badges we have, we just love the rockets to clear out, so, not helpful on its own. Unless, you know, we really think the card key's in a terrible place. Uh, you know, uh, we didn't see 25 yet, we didn't see E4 yet, the, the, the card key could always be there, and if the last yeah. badge is just in the basement, you don't need to do E4, you don't need to get the card key, you just can do vanilla basement, and uh, yeah, it's not forbidden well, we, to do. Well, we don't feel pushed into that yet, but it would be interesting if if one of the races ended up trying it. There's a confusion team TM to teach the Raikou confusion again. Wow. Good old legendary Ledian at the top of Tin Tower. I mean, the color scheme is not too far off. We had like legendary Dunsfast, legendary Ledian, and a whole lot of garbage in Tin Tower. Just pretty underwhelming overall, besides the basement key, which could come in handy later, but it was not the item we were hoping to see in there if we wanted to, f if we wanted to finish the race. There is still the Ho Chamber left, though. So. We might just. Oh, we still need to wait a bit on our, our final judgment of the Tin Tower. Just yet. Also, what we still have to keep in mind uh, Morty is not required yet, but is our only access to Tin Tower right now. So even though Morty was absolutely uh, having absolute garbage, uh, we still might be actually forced to do it. There's something in whole chamber or in the basement. We do have Gabriel on Chuck. Oh no, that's Brock. Oh, mind. <laughs> Similarly, it's a it's a guy. It's a gym leader. 
I'm sure Brock works out. Yeah. I've got a bit of uh, He has a hit on Lee, it's on brand. <laughs> Basically Chuck. Yeah. I mean we we we're, we're looking for a badge that has uh Something to do with uh, rocky stuff, I guess. Yeah. Which fits Brock semantically better than Chuck. Okay, here's the whole chamber. Tower not required just yet. We're seeing an early Route 4 push from Gabriel. This is uh, not a particularly time efficient check, but if the item you need is here, then then that will then then that will be something that I would say might not check for a long time. There's Marsh Badge. Alright, so yeah, we don't need to go into any dark areas for the for the Zephyr badge, because yeah, I mean, we need that to use flash and so logically, we do not need to go into dark areas for that final badge. We also don't have to worry about flash chamber anymore. So yeah. You actually like to see that on Jose's side. Yep, don't need to waste our time going into Whale Island. Still, though, the Zephyr badge can be in a lot of places. Multi confirmed not required. That is true because the basement key would only be required if if we found the card card key first. So and there was nothing else in there was nothing else in Tin Tower. So yeah, multi not required today. is going to get that Whirlpool item now. Why Gabriel has managed to find a PP up on Road 4. And are we going to see Chained into 25? Uh, is the gym to turn in the uh, machine part earlier? I don't think Jose never went actually in here. I can't remember. Anyway, nothing here. We are going to see in 25 all though. Alright, alright. Which... I mean, if if this Zephyr badge is here, this might actually not, still not be that good for Gabriel Campos, because that would push him into World Islands, although this would also put him closer to Chuck. Ah, uh, that's weird. Also, if Gabriel is putting off the Waterstone Chamber until he finds the Rainbow Wing, he will uh, do an entire Tin Tower for pretty much nothing. For getting that Marsh Badge, so it's not looking good for Gabriel Campos here. And if the Zephyr Badge is here, Kose has not too many other things to do this point, so we'll come around to that in a reasonable amount of time. I guess, at least. Of course, there's still 
Soft Sun Curl Studio. Yeah, besides that, uh, we've got Blaine and Blue, I suppose. He's already mm -hmm. done Surge. Um, I don't think we've seen Sabrina, but that's pretty fast. I think we've seen we Erica see already. Right no. Yeah, looks like it. Oh. I mean, they're still uh, route forward at Jose Elkut also uh, do again, but uh, I can't yeah. imagine that happening. Or... I wouldn't expect it, no. It's, uh, he, he, Jose's been going for the more efficient kind of checks, whereas Gabriel's been going for some of these out of the way ones. I can't, with, 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 the, with the place that I've been seeing, I can't see Route 4 being high on Jose L's list. Ergo's always in chat to remind me about False Director. I do, I do always, I do forget about him quite frequently, and I feel like he's, 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 he has sometimes had some value this tournament. So that's always yeah. something we can try. He definitely did. So uh, it is there. Uh, I did not forget about him, but uh, it's usually an option that most runners will leave for. Uh, very, very late. I mean, we spoke earlier of the option to actually go for an early false director to train up the Raikou, I believe. Yeah. Or any of uh, both of Pokemon, so... Uh, or well, the Zapdos, it was... yeah, I think was what we were talking about the at Zapdos the time. Was more, yeah. So it, it, it certainly was an option, but uh, it's not an option runners really like to do. And this is, it is only one check in there, so uh, how likely is it that this one check is this upper badge that you need? When you have still a lot of other checks that uh, can equally likely have this upper badge. On the other hand, Ergate likes it, so you should do it. We will find out if it's the fabulous price. It is not. It's also not the cut item on Route 25. So one last chance with Misty. Runners are now on 25 or finishing this part. And Misty has nothing, so. Okay. Probably is better for Gabriel that way, based on, um, based on what Cozy is doing now. I think that if it was here. Because he would have gotten that badge before Gabriel got the last two, but I mean, having said that, he is going towards the he he is going to Azalea, so maybe I'm talking garbage because he looks like he might be getting his Marsh badge in pretty short order. Yeah. Also, getting this before the Rainbow Wing uh, will give Gabriel the chance on just skipping out of the tower. Although we still need to find Zephyrbit somewhere, and uh, if it's in the basement, then there's no a w a way around doing Ten Tower for the car key, uh, for the basement key. 
So. Still doing this does give Gabriel, I think, a better chance to uh, win this race than finding Rainbow Wing first. Oh yeah, definitely. And uh, Gabriel might also prefer uh, doing Chuck over. Uh, Erica at this point, we, I'm not, I don't know, but it's definitely reasonable. There are still the uh, danger of Gabriel being tempted into World Islands though, unless he does chuck before well. It's really hard to say. Uh, well, is definitely in a better better position. Has done a few more of the more efficient checks, and is potentially uh, able to skip some of these low checks. Yeah, I mean, un un unless he, unless at some point he he does feel behind, it's it's just it's just difficult to know. What what do you? Um... Like at the moment, I don't think he does because he's, he is he is doing the more efficient checks, like you say. It'll just depend on whether it comes to a point where you do kind of start looking at the timer and thinking, well, you know, I've only one badge away. What if I? What if I? What if I? What if it isn't that in that uh out of the way thing I haven't done yet? But I don't know. It's just it's just hard to get in their heads, really. Yeah, but Gabriel is on the way to Chuck, so. Is actually in a position where uh, if Gabriel does manage to find the Zephyr badge before Jose L is, will be actually uh, getting the lead here. Unless it's just the pharmacy, but I can't imagine that. And no, I thought it. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, uh, wow, we are, uh, we are. So we are seeing. We are seeing vanilla basement. Now there are a lot of items in mm. here, but there are also a lot of trainers, so... And uh, well, we'll key. see if... <laughs> Card key, for all we know, might be in Mount Silver, so... Uh, uh, even if there's a lot of items here, uh, that does not mean that the Zephyr Badge is likelier to be here than not. So this is definitely a risk that Jose has taken, and if Gabriel does decide to go for Blaine at this point after Chuck and finds the Zephyr Badge there, then Gabriel is actually quite reasonable ahead here. Yeah, this really is up in the air at this point. I I don't know. Um, spicy play, though, for sure. Yeah. If the Zephyr Badge is down here, though, then Gabriel, uh, I can't imagine going for a um, vanilla basement after just finding the uh, only finding the uh, basement key in ten tower at that point. So uh, yeah, if it's down here, Jose has just uh, so much of an advantage that uh, that would race would probably be over by that point. Because even if Gabriel Campos does find the card key and does the radio tower to have an easier time down here, still would need to fight Eric up for the uh, Rainbow Wing, then get the basement key from Tin Tower, not do uh, Ho -O Chamber, and then still have to be uh, faster to red than Jose L, which seems just not possible at this point. Yeah, Gabriel 
has tied up, and all that's left is to find Zephyr Badge for both runners. So where do you go? And this might be Erika, which is actually very terrible for Gabriel Campos, probably. Yeah, that potentially. will that will that will lead him into doing all of those tin tower checks that for for all we know will be nothing and if they're not nothing then Koziel has the advantage anyway because he is going into the basement right now and even if the badger is behind this year uh Hosiel is just uh, so much in the lead that it doesn't really matter at this point so i mean in a vacuum for gabriel capos i don't blame him for this, it's not a bad play to make here, but from what we see it was just that uh, it is not the play that will help Gabriel Campos to go uh, get back into this. So unless uh, Red is being the biggest of all equalizers, um, which Red sometimes can be, uh, we have seen that. Uh, yeah, that's not the case. Uh, don't think Jose L will be giving this race out of hand. Yeah, I don't think we've seen a sleep move yet, so we don't have a a completely free setup on red, but Porygon 2 is one of the better things that you'd that you'd want to face red with. Uh, fighting moves are some of them are some of them are a little scary, but like they're not the strongest things out there. Like you said before, we can use X defense to Sure, uh, to 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 um to help us out against our only weakness in fighting. So, Porygon two, yeah. definitely one of the better things that you'd want to face Red with. So, I mean, that's I don't I don't know. I don't really I can't really see much that could that could that could stop us on Red. But, but you know, uh, but 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 Crystal is the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, they, <laughs> it surprised me before, and it will continue to surprise me again. So we will we will just have to wait and see. I mean, there are some legendary red battles. I I distinctly remember a certain view that uh, I believe oh yes, Alice metronome. Oh yes, like the the metro the the metronome view. That that was something else. So that that was just an uh, that was something to watch definitely. Uh, yeah. Aside from that, uh, I agree, there is really not much that reasonably could stop this uh, Porygon. I mean, there's Cross Chop that has the high crit chance that could get through your uh, setup very annoyingly a lot of the times, but uh, that has only 5 PP, so you can reasonably just PP stall that. Um, high jump kick and stuff you can X defend against. They don't have high uh, higher crit uh, rate. Karate chop is not the strongest move to get around your X defense. So uh, yeah, with this Porygon approaching level fifty eight, uh, we do have candy still. I don't really see a lot that can prevent uh, Jose L from getting through there, which. Uh, also, Gabriel Campos would have an easier time with. So, uh... yeah, uh, Vanilla Basement turned out to have absolutely nothing. So, yep. this looks like was... he's going to do Route Four. It looks like as well. So he's going to he. Yeah, it looks like this. This is this is the time where Jose has been is getting kind of worried about these. Isolated checks, but we have not seen Blaine yet. It kind of looks like it could be Blaine or Blue at this point. Um, besides that, we have the Elite Four and the False Director. So it seems like it's going to be one of those, unless I'm forgetting something. I don't think so. Um, Jose El still has the Softs and Girls to do left. Um... We did yeah. see all Kanto leaders except for Blaine Blue. Yeah, we cannot um, check. We cannot do Claire yet because they, the gym doesn't open until we clear out the rockets from the radio tower and we don't have the card key. So it's really going to come down to Blaine Blue 
E4 or fourth director at this point. Obviously, if the card key turns up at some point, we do have a uh, radio tower. And then Claire, like I uh, called out very early in this race. So, uh, did actually happen to come to pass, then, uh, well, then, then I can, can tell you I told you so. Something brought up in the chat is that the Raikou did not jump did not jump out for Gabriel Campos. That's because he has a Raikou in his party. That's just what happens. Yep. And if you've caught the Roamer, the Raikou just doesn't show up there at all. If you caught the Raikou Roamer, it just isn't there. Was done with Route 4. This looks like we are getting to see blue, uh, Blaine, and then maybe blue immediately after. So, of course, it is at least uh, being able to skip the soft and girls, I guess. Unless I completely missed them uh, going back for those. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to say definitively whether he's done them or not. To be honest, so yeah, there's not much more chance for Gabriel Campos to find his Zephyr badge first, and Gabriel has still now the uh, whole chamber uh, to do after this. But uh, yeah, if Gabriel does decide to go for false director or e4, which I guess you can do if you really feel like you need to make a play towards something. Well, if you feel you really have to make a play, that's probably what that's probably when you'd want to do vanilla basement. So hopefully, he doesn't feel like he needs to make a play to that extent. I mean, on the other hand, Gabriel Campos has that E4 fly point primed and ready, so uh, that's true. can pull the trigger at basically any time. Which, uh, we are at the stage where you reasonably just can do that. It's the item finder on Blaine, so for say I can now find all items. So. Alright, it looks like the item finder is leading him towards blue. Is this going to be the answer? We will see. Yeah, we could definitely see the case where just, you know, one of them goes Elite Four, one of them goes False Director, and it'll just be like, who yeah, makes I, the right call? I mean, I believe I actually commentated the race like this uh, last round, so... Yeah. Absolutely reasonable for it to happen again. There's the attempt at blue. And now decision time for Gabriel Campos. That is really tempting search. Looks that way, yeah. yeah he lost a search twice earlier, so... And see if he can get his revenge. Which, I mean, by this point, I kind of feel you need to cut your losses somewhere. Yeah, but you know, on the other hand, this could be. This is this is one of those checks where it's like, yeah, maybe my opponent hasn't done this. He doesn't give one item. And like, maybe if it was, uh... but but uh, but I don't know. Uh, you can you can really mind yourself. I'm kind yeah. of mind gaming myself here, just like talking talking through it in my head. It's definitely something that can happen when you're a runner. Uh, uh, it, it's so easy. Huh? There there's definitely a reason to just just play your game and hope it's enough. Or don't get in your own head too much. But uh, 
yeah i mean uh search i'd say is still uh one of the options your opponent will probably do earlier than false director or e4 so uh yeah, if you well, need to go a third time here uh, we're seeing e4 it looks like if uh well i mean yeah yep. since Cozy's going there first it looks like if gabriel wants wants oh, to that's sabrina okay so but that's it he could, yeah. I mean, if if he does false director, he he he, he will still be in it. It'll just be, yeah. He's just uh, <laughs> just raising the tension here by doing all these other checks first. And I mean, if Gabriel is quick here in Sabrina, um, going to e four to the flying point would only be about a minute or so apart at most immediately after this. So. That's still hard to say. I think Gabriel Campos after this has also done all Kanto leaders. So really should not have anything else left besides well there's plain blue, right? Yeah. Which reasonably I could see happen first again. Uh, Gabriel does get a bit lost here in the gym though after Sabrina. This loses valuable time. You unfortunately cannot escape rope out here. Yeah, in Gen 1 you could you could dig out of here after taking one walk. I don't think you can in this game. Uh, but he finds his way out. Let's see where he goes. Mm, he's thinking about it and it looks like he is going to do the... the reasonable play, which would be Blaine into blue. It almost looked for a second like uh, Gabriel wanted to go for World Islands before remembering that that would not be a great idea. Yeah, so the badge cannot be there as a reminder because it is logically locked behind Flash. Uh, World Islands is logically locked behind Flash, which is what Zephyr badge enables us to use. Yeah, yeah when he, he went over Goldenrod too, I was kind of thinking, oh, is he going to do it? But uh, no false director by the looks of it. So what are you betting on, chat? We know it's either Elite Four or False Director. But what do you think? What do you think seems like... Where, where do you think the last item is? Where do you think the item for progression is going to be? It's going to be one or the other. Now let's just uh, E4 have card key, but uh, Zephyr Patch is on False Director. I suppose it could be both, yeah. It could be like false Elite Four or something. Oh yeah, um... Seeing now that this Porygon being level 67 already... I really can't see anything on Red, so... Uh, that would... Stop Jose L if he gets there first. Even if there's a level 81 Psychic Mewtwo at some point, uh, uh, we will be even able to do with, to deal with that. And Psychic Psychic only has 10 PP, so if we really need to, we could PP stall that. Yeah, and like the if you have like I don't know Drill Pack Ho, you can like you you can I mean. You can next defend that at least. Uh, so I think we'll be alright against pretty much anything. And again, if you need a panic button, there is that explosion on the moon. <laughs> that is true. We'll have we'll have stab on it as well. 
Uh, just saying. <laughs> He's just kind of tormenting Gabriel right now. He's just switching in and out, you know, and we ran out of surfs. One fight on the E4 for sale. Taking a counter it. right to the face after the uh, Parasect lifted that one. Yeah, I looked away, but it's it. But I, f I figured that's what it had to be. Can't really see anything else that would have KO'd from there. <laughs> All right, well, Lance is really trying. Hydro pump Suicune. Counter Parasect. He has the strats. We're just a bit too over leveled for it to really be a huge problem. But he's 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 trying he's slowing us down at least. I mean, it does, the counter definitely did its work. It just uh, straight up took out the Porygon from August Fall. Unfortunately for Gabriel, he is also doing the same thing. So that's probably that that that's the nail in the coffin for him, I'd say. Yep. Red has been known for being the greatest of equalizers on a lot of occasions, but uh, there, there's only so much equalizing Red can do on a single uh, fight. So yeah, this, this 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 might be Red's one of Red's greater challenges challenges if he wants to even the playing field. And it's uh, not I on Elm. I think there, there there's very little. Uh, Places where you get higher level than this. So I think uh, one of the more outliers where uh, was where I traded a level 60 chancy in, and uh, then still almost flew, full cleared the race. So with candies, I actually outleveled Red's lead, but uh, that's <laughs> what? usually not no, good. What the heck? That's crazy. Yeah. Uh. Shout, shout outs to Cuddles the Venusaur. Yeah, it looks like because it hadn't great. done the hadn't done the uh, rising badge check either, but it wasn't. But we'd seen it from Gabriel earlier. But uh, yeah. there's a Zephyr badge. Elite four required. You were all wrong, chat. I'm sorry to say, but we're in go mode now. And uh, actually, uh, no, no. Oh well, th yes. Uh, does that mean Morty is required? Since we need to go in here and. We need Wait, <laughs> that's actually true. Oh my goodness! So wow, we we won't we will never know if Morty was actually not required since this card key could potentially be on false director. But uh, for <sighs> all purposes, this is uh, just yeah, Morty we, required. Yeah, I mean Jose had to. Yeah, the <laughs> Jose could not have done got could not have gone in there without Morty the way he's done things. So wow, it really did loop back around to Morty required, huh? Huh. Morty required not uh, being for accessing items in tin uh, past the first le letter. That's uh, that's a new one. That is a new one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I said earlier that you know I continue to be be surprised by 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 Rando like just. <laughs> it just keeps happening. Crystal just is the gift that keeps on giving. Yep. And there's still one more fight to come, so it might not be fully over yet. I 
let's see if there's actually something we have to worry about. Right, uh, uh, the snake. Uh... It's it's it's, yeah. it's 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 you're you're pretty happy to see that in general um, as yeah. as the lead. And if it did use this outrage, then you're probably just uh, go set up and uh, don't worry about it too much. And it also looked like it's the preferred move. Getting a bit greedy here, a crit would have actually killed. Yeah, I mean, he's 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 all right though. He's done most. Of, he's set up a load of axe attacks. So a few XPs now. Probably only need two. I mean, I don't really know why we need to set up axe defense at this point, but uh. We've got time anyway. He doesn't know, but he's got plenty of time. No, I'm to set some specials. And here we go. Mark Punch Dragon Knight doesn't do it at this point, no. but maybe this X Defense actually were more helpful well. than it uh, can be anticipated. Yeah, I mean, it would, I think we would have been fine either way, but. Even with the crit, I guess, too, but. Uh, I mean, if there were uh, three more of those, this could have been uh, potentially bad. Oh, yeah. That is Jose L. Done. Yep. GG. Finishing a time of 2.21.36. What the Grim Campus has just beaten the Elite Four. It's almost going to get the Zephyr Batch. I mean, can't see, can't see Raikou struggling on the Arbok either, unless it was just. Well, no, I mean, I can't. Yeah, I, I feel like if it, if it had a strong ground move, it would use that against Porygon. It does have better physical attack than special. But there we are, uh, Gabriel in Go mode. We'll, we will see very shortly whether Arbok had any more tricks to show us. Get the winners to try and find card key and silver. We're, we're gonna mark more to required anyway, I think. Uh, even if even if it ends up, even if it turns out that card key was on false director, just because it's uh, a check that you're probably not gonna do in most cases, unless you really want to, unless you want to double something up or you want to make a crazy play. I mean, if, I mean, if the option uh, is between uh, going for false director for card key and uh, doing Morty, then I would probably always do Morty and say Morty is required. It'll feel good for for Jose. I mean, get off. Uh, a lot, some people at the start tournament were like, you know, I just want to win a match. It always feels good to get that first win. Uh, I mean, this this tournament uh, is really, really, uh, or 
the, the, the player level of this tournament is very, very high, so uh, yeah. even getting that one win is definitely an achievement, because all of the people here, make just, they, they, they just know, know how to play the game, and uh, the races are reasonably close. One good or bad decision can always make or break a seed. And yeah, looks like the Arbok really just likes to use Outrage. So not too much trouble for Gabriel Campus here either. Or the in the mark punch getting in there. And this is why you usually want to not sweep on 10 plus HP or on less than 20 and red things. So E speed, quick attack, even uh, mark punch, they, they all are just so likely to take you out, and that's not unreasonable for reds for one of Red's Pokemon to have them, and they will use them if they can kill you with that. Yeah, this is also the kind of this is also the kind of the situation where like maybe maybe if you had leftovers and you just healed up a little bit, uh, if you, you can pro you can you can maybe like get away with going for it with maybe not red health uh, after the first Pokemon, maybe like low ye low yellow, you can pro you can possibly get away with it then, but. Uh, yeah, without the leftovers, a good idea to heal to at least half HP, I'd say, you know, if you want to be pretty safe from those moves. Should be a bit better. Ah, oh, there's the Dragonite again. Just use Icy Wind and try it again, but uh, this time surviving. Yeah, we know the tentacruel has it too, but that's not going to kill us. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, all right. If we'd have just had that, it would have been e it would have just been super free setup, huh? Huh. Just one level too late to learn hypnosis. We just had one more candy. Yeah. But there you go. GG. GG to Gabriel Campos. He finishes in a time of 2.27.34, just under 6 minutes behind Jose L. I imagine he'll be going over to the Brazilian restream, at least initially, for his interview. And uh, Jose has not joined us at the moment. I'll I'll ask just to make sure, just to just to see if he doesn't want to join us. But uh, yeah, GG to both runners. I mean, while we look and see if we can get what in, we can. Do shout outs towards other races, which, uh, I mean, there is just one starting uh, this minute over on the Speed Gaming main channel in Original Smitty versus Prior. Here, or however you want to pronounce that, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that race should be just starting right now, or is just on the way. Um, so if you want to see more, uh, can. Open up that up in the second channel where we wait here. Uh, and there is one more match uh, planned for uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time, so in an hour on this very channel with Diego Armando versus Main Dash. Does not look like we have a commentator for that yet, though, so uh, yeah, would need to find someone to cover this uh, if we want to show that. But that would be. Another match that would be happen today. Uh, yeah, that's the only two matches left for today. Uh, 
But uh, if you want to see more of this tournament, uh, tomorrow and on Saturday, that will be your chance. There are uh, currently five matches scheduled for tomorrow and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for Saturday. So yeah, huge chunk of the remaining round four races, uh, round four races happening over the next two days. Yeah, but in general, if you if you want to watch Ice Rando, Saturday is generally the busiest day, so always safe to just look at speed gaming on on those days, and yeah, you're likely to see a race going on. Uh, no response from either of the racers yet to the interview request, so maybe give it a few more minutes. But if not, that'll that'll probably be it for today. We can have a little reflection of our own on this race, I suppose. Uh, I, I would have, I would have loved to see, I would have loved to see, uh, see the Zapdos go in uh, with Thunderbolt Drill Pack. We uh, didn't really get a whole lot of good special TMs today. It was, just, it would look like it was gearing up for a physical main that we just didn't find really. But the Porygon, the Porygon two did, 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 did the job. Uh, like all it really needs to do the job, to be honest, is surf and strength. So I think that was. Definitely the play. Uh, I mean, there, for this there, race. there there were a few special TMs throughout the later stages of the race. Uh, I remember there was a flame wheel TM. We found the sacred fire, and there was spark, uh, which I'm not sure where it was again. Gabriel was never yet, uh, taught it, but uh, that could have made uh, everything better there. So the special TMs were there. They were not. Ju they were just not early enough for them to be. Uh, yeah, uh, or they were not early enough to where we really needed them already to uh, especially get the Raikou started. That, uh, that took a bit. And uh, yeah, but for, a bit unfortunate for Gabriel Cap was that Typhlosion never really got off uh, in the beginning. Uh, we could have later switched to the shiny one, actually. Uh, it was an option. Yeah, you uh, are. <laughs> I suppose you really don't want to do that, though. Waste a lot of time with the animation. Yeah, I mean, I it's... think that's. I think. I think that still does because I, I, I know. I know that cries uh, aren't much of an issue now for mains, but I think the shiny animation still is. But don't quote me on that. I also think it is. But yeah. I mean, at least it would have decent special. I, would, I think uh, you would need ten there. For it to be shiny, or how does that work? Uh, uh, sure. I, I I forget exactly. I, I know I know that yeah I forget exactly what that what shiny means for DVs. Like I I know that like I'm not I'm not I I I don't know whether the shiny means that the DVs are fixed for that or if it like overrides the default settings for that for the for for it or I don't know. The point is that I wouldn't be considering a shiny switch like ever just because of that the animation but uh yeah in terms of like uh, I, I guess that's kind of the main point of difference between them just because the way that the way the seed ended up just because we had to do the elite four we ended up doing we ended up doing most other, th other things anyway um i the only thing like the only thing other thing we could really have done was the false director which neither racer seemed to want to do so yeah in the end it did seem to come down to just what was able to go through the game faster and the the Raikou just the special moves just came too late for it, really, it seemed like. I know a few uh, things in addition to that. The, the the Hive Badge that Gabriel had to leave behind on the uh, elderly didn't really come into play too much, I'd say. Gabriel found it uh, in time to not lose too much out of it. Had to go to a second time to a uh, break of rage. Uh, yeah. Lake of Rage, thank you. Um, and uh, I think an additional flight to Violet or stuff like that. So uh, with the with the uh, faint there, maybe lost a minute to it at most, which is is kind of painful, but not the worst. It could have been way worse. Uh, but Gabriel found it just in time before Poke Gear and having cut uh, cut access with that West Kanto became necessary so yeah overall it probably was just uh yeah 
that uh, the, that 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 nine tails that Jose L uh, took to the first part, and then the switch to the Borygon two, which uh, just fared out that much better to make the difference here. Yeah, we probably used the nine tails for a little longer than we would have liked, but uh, yeah, we were able to. Uh, but 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 it 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 kind of yeah it, it kind of lagged towards the tail end of when we had to use it, but. Yeah, the Porygon 2 came along at, 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 at a good time, and yeah, like we say, that seemed to be the way the seed was pointing towards the end, just use the Porygon 2 to beat the game, worked out nicely. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been about seven minutes since I asked them if they wanted an interview, and neither of them has said anything, so I'm going to just assume that we'll, we'll, we'll end it there, and yeah, we'll see you guys for future races. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Uh, if, if you want to see more just uh, right now, hop over to the main Speed Gaming channel to uh, find the next, I don't know, to see the next race. And uh, uh, if not that, then in 50 minutes on this channel will be another race. But yeah, that's everything here. Yep. See you next time, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>